So, I tried doing this video uh, a few times, sorry, yesterday, and um, my SD card or the video or saying it kept messing up, even when I edited it, I got to the point of editing the whole video I had, a um, whole workout of my upper body to put the start of this talk um but now that's gone <laughs> so after either redo that or put some other stuff at the start of this or after it um but i made this video or was making these videos to discuss something that was supposed to be coming out in a uh, recorded video of uh, mine and Perry's um, video chat discussing lo lockdown, uh, what we're doing to stay busy, uh, training wise, what equipment, diet, um, and everything that goes with that recovery etc um and that got messed up that recorded but no sound so we're going to be doing another talk on something else another time i'm going to try a different way of doing it so i'm going to try doing it through the app zoom but i thought i'd come in and discuss these things about my side of kind of lockdown, what I'm doing, kind of training, wide diet, recovery, etc. So I'm going to start with that I have been in lockdown with my daughter for over three weeks now. It was three weeks on Wednesday. Today is Friday. Um, and when... Obviously, I kept her off school because of health issues, whatever was advised by the school and different stuff to do so. Um, there was a gym where, where I live uh, still open. So I went at night on my own when there was no one there and um, obviously kept myself clean, etc. For two times. Then when they shut after I had a rest or whatever... Um, they, I done eight or nine days straight of full body workouts, but they were more like circuits. And it was kind of just feeling like cardio really, um, wasn't feeling enough for me. So then I took a couple of days off for recovery purposes because obviously I felt like I needed to. So then I went through them days off I redone what I was going to do. So now what I've been doing is upper body, lower body rest and just repeat until it's reopened again. Um, and that was mostly to give my chest shoulders back enough work and work it hard and to work my legs really hard. I haven't felt it until I, John Meadows put out a video um, to do with legs with bands and stuff. And I appreciate him putting that out. I know he puts it out for everyone, but I am like one of the people who appreciate it because it destroyed my legs. And it, it's the only thing I'm using for legs and it hurts. I'm doing it today and it hurts. It really hurts. So it works really well. So I'm glad of that. Um, so then, obviously, going on to recovery, because obviously I'm recovering better because I'm having every three days off. Um, 
I'm going to discuss why else my recovery and everything else is kind of better. Um, yes, sleep's not great because of this lockdown that, like everyone else probably, sleep's not very good. Um, but um, before this, when I was taking my daughter to school and everything else, I was doing 20,000 steps, hour cardio, four times a day, week. Five heavy, intense weight training per week and that's all stopped um the most i have been out for in three weeks is i have been for about three walks and two or three shopping trips that's about it yes i'm doing my workouts at home but i'm not doing any cardio or anything on that side of it and that's adding to my recovery now we're going to get into food which is also going to aid recovery a bit more so this is only my opinion on stuff so if we get, if i get into this now this is only my opinion on it this is what i do for myself everyone else has their own agenda but my my Calories have gone up. I'm having obviously a treat now and again with my kid on my missus. It was her birthday, etc. Else, I'm and I'm going to discuss some other stuff. What I've added in to kind of add my meals up. But the whole point of me having the extra food is to maintain the muscle I have, um, which is why I stopped doing so much cardio, so much walking and everything else because i'm not worried about getting fat i'm not worried about losing muscle as such i'm not worried about going flat or nothing the bands and everything else i'm not going to go flat if i had to go flat i'm not really going to lose the muscle if i have to work calories but i don't want to batter my body with cardio everything all at once because excuse me the way I look at it is, I'm trying to be healthy for me and my daughter. I'm not as active. And I'm going to benefit from it to keep the muscle is not to better my body. So I'm going to recover better. My body's going to feel better. I'm going to be more healthy. I'm going to be more everything. Yes, cardio can be health healthy. But if you're doing an hour's cardio every day, for me, that is battering my body doing an hour's cardio every day. So, let's get on to what my meals are really most of the time. Other days, like today, my, I'm just really tired. So I've just upped my food a bit today. Um, um, but normally, what I'll have in the morning is... Uh, porridge with a protein shake or sign um, or I haven't even got any is but there is other cereals it's have like a cereal based thing with protein it's a uh, milk or water but I normally still I've carried on using almond milk or soya milk for myself just because that's what I was doing when I was dieting to get away from dairy a bit. Um, and I have your kind of staple meals most of the time if I can. Um, some days I ain't fucking be bothered. But your chicken and rice and whatever else. Pasta, rice, whatever. Pasta and chicken, sorry. And whatever and I have burgers with my daughter in the night or a normal meal in the night I've always done this for a long time now since my daughter's been here I always have whether I'm dieting bulking whatever I will always have my staple then a more normal meal then possibly another meal and like same before bed or whatever so it works out like six meals a day Oh, excuse me, I'm so tired. 
my daughter had me up from seven as well. But the thing what I've been doing lately is I've added this in every day if I can. It's cream of rice and vanilla. It's the only company where I could actually get some from. I've got five kilos of that. Kind of bought it thinking if I run out of food or can't get anything, I'll eat that with some protein. So yeah, the protein, I'm just using this, which is from my local gym, which is just SciTech 100% whey. And it is caramel. And the, I'm trying to find. Yeah, it's got uh, whey protein and it's got amino acids, digestive enzymes and stuff in it. Um, it's aspartame free. I'm not too bothered about aspartame as such. Um, I have energy drinks and shit that's probably got it in. Um, just trying to, oh yeah, that's it. It's, my, it's whey concentrate and whey isolate. Um, I have that. With the cream of rice for a meal, normally before bed. I really like it before bed. I have two scoops of that, two scoops of protein, and sometimes I'll add a yogurt to it um, and a bit of sweetener and shit. Um, but if not, if I'm not that hungry at night, I'll just have a shake. Um, but that's just to top it up. So I have up to my protein, so that's normally before bed. I will have a shake through the day if I can. Let's say if I'm outside painting. Oh, God, excuse me. I'm so tired today. Say I'm painting outside, like we've been doing the garden, planters and stuff. Say I'm painting out there. It's easy enough just to sh drink a shake down and get my carbs through the, the rest of the day. <clears throat> um... But yeah, um, haven't really had a staple diet. That might change. Depends on how long we're here for. Um, today I've had a, a lot more food, to be honest. Um, stuff what I wouldn't normally eat. I made protein cookies. I've had some of them. I've had... Mm, cheese sandwich but it was toasted in the oven um in the grill sorry but that's just because i'm tired i'm just super tired i ain't got the energy for it but what i'm gonna do is when i get some energy later is make up a load of meals for the next three days so i don't do what i've done today um and that's about it really um supplement wise uh it's just the protein cream and rice if i remember i have my apple cider vinegar if i remember which i haven't took it today is cod liver oils and multivitamins and my CBD and that's about it um, I'm not going to bother taking to work out to train at home I will drink a monster if I have them haven't got any I went to go to Morrison's and they shut at 8 o'clock now which I didn't see anyway so I was going to buy a box of monsters just to drink now and again I had one today a blue one I went to a little garage, but I could do with another one, so I think I'm going to have a coffee now. Got to train legs later. I did train outside yesterday, but I, I'm just going to do it indoors today. I think it was too hot. Even though our garden's tiny, doesn't get any sun, it still gets hot out there. But yeah, I'm going to go and make a coffee and get my daughter doing some more stuff. Probably do some painting or something with her. I think she's playing a DS at the minute, doing a phonics. But 
um i'll add some more stuff to this video what i've been doing and i'll be i'll show a few bits of what i'm going to be what i've been doing to keep myself busy and what i am doing so um a big part of that is my instagram my instagram is going to be a big point for me at the moment is i am progressively trying to improve and brand myself more so i have learned this from online courses different free little online courses from the website is that um about branding yourself as a person because i am my own brand i am i'm a qualified personal trainer i want to be able to do that at some point in the future when things are sorted in my life a bit more and i want to progress my instagram <laughs> sorry so part of that is me as a brand i need to expand myself as a brand so if you want to check out my instagram it's a dot bright future then underscore fitness and check that out you will see a big difference between my posts and then before and then the ones what are recent um last few days um i've changed my branding of such and i'm going to be making a new profile picture for my instagram and i if you look everything's got my name i've started putting out my own quotes and putting my name in it so it's just branding myself to get myself out there and i don't know if this is a sign of that it's slowly working but companies to do with ambassador yes i know it's normally a load of rubbish have started more and more not even just messaging me on instagram messaging me through email and i don't know i don't know if that's a sign but i'm progressively trying to improve everything on my instagram and improve myself as a brand that includes my website that i've done up i will show that in this video my instagram I will show my new post on my Instagram. I'll show my new website that I have updated. And I'll show different other things that I'm doing to progressively teach myself different things whilst we're in lockdown. Because um, you've seen the guitar, the garden, etc. So I'm going to show you what else I'm doing. Thank you very much for checking out this video. Watch the rest of this video. Give it a like and, a sub and share it if you like it. And also subscribe. I'm going to try get a video up every week or two on youtube as well appreciate you as always keep grinding so what you can see here is my instagram page and this is all so up until this one is when i wasn't branding myself as much it's still there a little bit and the videos are good when i'm at the gym and different other things but from this point onwards um you can this is when i started um upgrade kind of branding myself more so this is a saying that i live by and i've always kind of lived by this for quite a few years now and i've started doing this so you can see i branded myself at the bottom i created that i forgot to put my name on this one this is about yoga it's just branding myself like my name's at the bottom if you can see down there and the same on this one and it's I've been trying to, this hasn't got massive amount of likes or anything like that. Um, this one's doing okay. But what I'm doing is trying to interact as a community more. So I am getting people to comment um, about the subjects. So I just asked, 
So who's got weights at home? Or have you got bands? Or are you just resting at home? And I'm just talking with ev everyone who comments. So I'm trying to build more of a community again. Um, and that's about it really. I'm just trying to brand this. I am going to make a new profile picture. I do like my little avatar. But I think it's time to make a new picture. I'm not sure on what yet. But we'll see. So what else I've also been doing is... This is a website called udemy.com. What I've been doing is I've been learning courses on different things. Some of them aren't that great. Some of them are really good. Um, I've been doing the free ones just to try and learn some bits on different things. Um been learning about lighting to do with photos, about Instagram marketing, photographs, how to brand yourself, um, yeah. all sorts of stuff really. And I've been finding it quite useful just to do that a bit every day. And along with the other stuff. So, so the next thing I have done the last week or so, is on lockdown yes that's luke sando um is i was asked to make a linkedin account to connect with people and everything else on there i'm trying to get familiar with that um and i have made Nope, don't want that one. Don't want that one. I have redone my website. My internet's going to work because it's been off. So I've redesigned my website for my business and me. If it's going to load, the internet's not being great. Oh, yes, yeah, because there's a video at the top. But on, for some reason on the phones, that video is supposed to play. And it's not, and it's got my page at the top when it's not at the top. The web, the mobile one's a bit weird compared to thingy. But it's got my YouTube, obviously, business logo. For some reason on my laptop, the, the numbers on there don't have pound signs because my pound sign on the laptop wouldn't work. And this is just discussing me, saying my qualifications, etc. Just having a talk. These are photos of kind of myself and just things what are kind of been key to me um, and some training ones. Um, so the beach one, I was supposed to be doing a beach training business. Um, the one with the me stood by the bridge, I went to that bridge twice when I was younger. Um, to try and jump off of it um and the second one in the middle of me a lot fatter this one is um my kind of prep what i was supposed to be doing a competition um and the rest are just photos i've done um and then just testimonials from different people and a contact box on my website. So I've upgraded my website whilst being in lockdown. 